Hello Cambridge Wizards, I'm Ashley representing the Bureau of Student Support team here at Cambridge University de London, United Kingdom. How are you all doing today? So today, my task is to help you, Cambridge Wizards, to be more effective and efficient in studying on campus or via our hybrid homeschooling. So I have some tips for you. Number one is try active studying. So active studying is as simple as asking questions before, during, and after study time. Not only does this help to give your study session direction, but it also helps to keep you on track and reflect on how to improve for your next study session. Number two is to get a good night's sleep. Students of all ages should get at least eight hours of sleep every school night. It's the best way to ensure that the brain is refreshed and ready to process all of the information learned during the day. It may be tempting to stay up late to cram, but it's more beneficial to get enough rest. Number three is to study at the right time. So every student has his or her own daily highs and lows. Some people are night owls, while some people prefer the morning. Take advantage of the time of day that you feel most productive. And don't try to force yourself to study when your brain power isn't at its peak. Number four is to have a designated study area. Whether it's the kitchen table, try to reserve your bed only for sleeping and avoid studying in it. It can be all too easy to take a nap. Most importantly, keep your study space clean and organized so you can put more time into studying and less time trying to find a pen that works. The number five tip is to eat properly don't forget to eat your body and your brain needs fuel to help stay in top form plus it's difficult to focus when your stomach is growling have healthy snacks while you study but make sure they're prepared in advance so you don't spend too much time away from your work more time away means more opportunity to be distracted number six is to get your chores out the way take care of your daily chores before starting your study session to avoid interruption or being distracted by an unfinished to-do list. Getting chores out the way makes it much easier to focus on the task at hand. Tip number seven is to create a timetable. Creating a timetable helps organize your time, schedule your breaks, and it's especially useful when you have multiple subjects to study. Write your schedule down so you can remember it and you're able to refer to it often. And the last tip I have for you today is to use a timer. Using a timer helps to keep track of time and it ensures that you stick to the timetable that you created. Setting a timer helps keep you focused on the task at hand, committed to working until the timer goes off, and it also helps you to keep track and cover all the material that you need to. And above all else, it helps to keep your break time effective and guilt-free because you earned it. But thanks for listening. Until next time, Cambridge Wizards.